Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Warcraft 3, Reign of Chaos, with me, your Let's Player for the day, Wolfganger. Alright, everybody, last time we finished off the Orc campaign, this time we're going to start the Night Elf campaign, Chapter 1, Enemies at the Gate. With the heroic sacrifice of Grom Hellscream, the Pit Lord Manoroth was slain, and the demon curse that had plagued the Orcs was put to an end. However, the combined human and orc forces have moved deeper into Ashenvale Forest to ascertain whether a demonic threat still lingers in the land. Tyrond Whisperwind, the leader of the Night Elf Sentinels, believes that the other outlanders will bring only doom to her enchanted homeland. And of course, because she's a Night Elf, she's obviously going to attack them. That sky looks really weird. I just noticed that. It looks very weird. Pardon, Priestess, but you've been staring out across Ashenvale for hours. I sense something dark stirring within the forest, Shondras. It feels as if it's heading this way. It could be, you know, the demons. demons. Perhaps. Perhaps something more. I mean, it was only raining fire, you know, to the south. Giant hordes of burning infernos running around the area. Put your bags into it. Jaina and the orc And here we are, orcs and humans to working together in harmony. Ah, we shouldn't even be here. Or siding with you. Silence. We're here to hunt the remaining demons, human. Lucky our goals are the same. All right, you men. Mind your business. Back to work. So, these orcs and humans presume to run rampant through our lands? They will regret ever stepping foot into Ashenvale. We will establish a base and deal with these outlanders as they deserve. They don't deserve whatever you're going to give them. <laughs> They don't even know you exist! Oh, man. Night Elves are sure aggravating. You know, they never used to be aggravating for me until I the tree of played life this. Is the heart of our Night Elf villages. Quiet, you. Use the tree's ability to entangle the gold mine. After entangling the mine, send wisps in to extract gold. Anyway. Um. Until I played, until I played this campaign this time around. Wisps are friendly spirits Ouch. that harvest gold and lumber for our villages. They also Ouch. create the structures that allow us to train more warriors. And, until I played, until I started doing this let's play, I never realized how um, annoying, I guess, the night elves are. I mean, just wow. All their xenopho all their xenophobia is kind of annoying, actually. I mean, they just... I mean, for one, the uh, orcs and humans, they don't even realize that the night elves are even, even here, really. So, you know, they can't... They just think this is a big, empty forest, you know, with, like, random wildlife running around. Someone but of course, the Night Elves take that as like a personal mm. offense that there are people even here. The moon wells are the source of our nourishment and strength. You can build additional moon wells to nourish more troops. Thank you. And immediately decide that, you know, it's time to, to, to kill the outsiders kind of thing. I, I don't know, it's just... Insufficient. A little... Annoying. Like, I've said, oh my god, I've said that so many times, like, but I don't know how else to really explain it. I mean, like, I'm kind of, like, looking, I guess, into what their xenophobia has caused. I mean, so far it's caused the death of Cenarius, the, their demigod. I mean, if they had, like, talked to the orcs that were cutting down the trees and been like, Hey, we like these trees. Please don't cut them down. Thank you very much. Then, you know, it would have been better than just 
Oh my god, you're cutting down your our trees. Attack! But, um... To train more troops, construct an ancient of war. Yes, of course. But uh, that's not why you're here, right? Not You're not here to listen to me talk about uh, this, this, this stuff about why I think the Night Elves are a very silly, silly race. We are preparing to leave this place, Priestess. There is a terrible evil corrupting these lands, and I will not allow it to consume my people. Unfortunately, we cannot leave until the rest of our tribe has been accounted for. Do not fear, old one. I will find your tribesmen and lead them back to you. Thank you, Priestess. We will reward you when you return. Ooh, I like rewards. Anyway, so that is our side quest for today. We gotta find a bunch of these uh, fur balls here and bring them back to the village. Well, we don't. They'll they'll bring themselves back to the village. But uh, yeah. More lumber is required. What? Really? More lumber? Oh, confound it! I'm just Your trying to. I'm trying to set up a. Uh, little um, second tree of life here so I can get double the gold I mean it's probably unnecessary but yeah waiting on you and there's like three free archers just right there for you if you're if you're looking so yeah wisps they gather wood without cutting down trees but they gather at a half at half the speed that um, keep the voice of that um, other so be it. workers do it at, so it's really a toss-up. I mean, the the advantage is you can kind of so harvest wood anywhere, Hindu and not just uh, as the goddess wills. in great swaths so of trees. By Elune. As the goddess wills. So just running around with Tarande, By looking for uh, immediately fur balls, and uh, so found a fountain of health. So yeah, By this easy mission's even easier now. Our warriors have engaged the enemy. Oh. Also, the night elves can go invisible at night. As the goddess wills. By standing still, which is pretty cool, I guess. It is cool indeed. Now, um, I don't know. I'm feeling a little calm, relaxedy kind of for this this mission here. Just sort of chilling out right now, enjoying myself. Now, I guess I should mention that Tarande is a priestess of the moon. Which isn't really a combat hero, it's more like a support hero. Um, one of the priestess's big abilities is this owl scout thing, which just basically flies around the map, revealing any everything and every anything and everything that it just sort of comes across, like here's a camp of uh humans right here. And uh Oh dear, how do I know? Oh, 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 apologies. Apologies, YouTube. Mm, there's some fur bogs over there. Oh, yeah, and the other abilities are Searing Shot, which adds like 10 damage at level 1 to her attack, 20 at level 2, and 30 at level 3. Um, and I guess the real ability is her True Shot Aura, which powers up Keep the voice of uh, allied ranged attacks by uh, percentage 10 20 30 as it levels up this isn't even done yet wow okay I guess I shall build a ancient of ancient of war here and construct another wisp yeah, yeah. When when you construct an ancient, the wisp is, Your building is gone. Complete. You need to uh, 
re rebuild your wisp. Okay, so that gold mine will be done soon. Let's just net us some uh, more wisps to put up uh, our lumber. And I'm thinking soon I'm gonna start doing some real exploration for those for for bogs, blogs, bear men. Uh, entangle this gold mine faster. It takes a, a little bit to to get new gold mines, although you you know you can make them stand up and root them back in place. So you can like, if I if I if I didn't like where I put this ancient of war, I could just have them walk over here and just sit right here, you know. So there we go. We got our new location here. Whatever. We'll just train uh, five archers like the quest asks us to. The goddess quest. And somewhere around here there's so more of those fur balls. I mean, it's not really a necessary quest, the uh, fur bogs one. I mean, you don't really get a, a reward. You only you only get um, to use this fur blog champion and these two guys for the Ashrathorama. for the battles. Someone but, you know, words. I guess why not? As the goddess wills. Immediately. I stand ready. Hmm. Also, moon wells can heal near nearby allies. So, the but they only charge their mana at night. That's their thing. So be it. As Soviet? The what? Wills. No. Uh, here we go. Attack the orcs. I a new Dora. Yeah, here we go. Immediately. Mm, we'll take down these cursed outsiders who dare to cut our trees down and, and don't know of our existence because we don't tell them. Yeah, whatever. So there we go. I'm not gonna destroy. Bother wasting my time destroying the war mill because it would take a while and I kind of want to get this episode done quick quicker oh dear god quicker than it would otherwise oh man we gotta slay Duke Lionheart the paladin he's I don't know I like him though he's cool he's kind of he doesn't outwardly show if he does if he if he at all despises working with the orcs. He doesn't outwardly show it, and he promotes, you know, working together with the orcs despite their uh, differences. And I think that's very respectable. Very respectable indeed. Ah. Oh man, oh, we're gonna totally lose a an archer here unless I. Yeah, there we go. There we go. We took out those. Now, the only thing keeping me from just going straight to the base to attack is that I kind of want to at least show the sub subquest. What the heck are they doing? I stand ready. Oh, of course, they're attacking my. What are the comp Why does the computer always do that? The computer always, 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 always attacks my alternate base. Unfortunately, we lost one of our archers. Um, it's okay. We'll just make more with our tons of gold and wood. 
I might even want to make another Ancient of War. On your mark. We'll just send these guys back to the main base. Get them all healed up by the moon wells. I stand ready. You can set the moon wells to auto heal, so you know. You don't have to worry about, you Someone know, clicking, micromanaging your moon wells. As the goddess wills. Goddess calls. Now, if I could just find the rest of those fur balls. So be it. I keep calling them fur balls just because they're. I guess their their real name is fur balls. Furbogs, something like that. Eh, I don't know. I kind of like furball better. In the name of scenario. There are a few more of them over here. Fellwood, really? Doesn't fellwood mean it's like dark or evil or something? Immediately. What? I actually need more moon wells? Okay, sure. Here is another moon well. I keep the voice of Elune. Hmm. By Elune. I don't know, this mission's kind of a, a, a peaceful one, really. It's not really hyperactive or anything. You just sort of kind of relax a little bit and run through the woods, enjoy nature, kill some outsiders, that kind of thing. So be it. There we go, two more. By and Ah, outsiders. As the goddess wins. Um some crates. Those are the true enemies here. Get those crates. There you are, crates. By I've defeated thou. It's intense mortal combat. So be it. And there we go, Furbog. You've got the last one. And now we must return to the shaman. I stand ready. These moon wells kind of have a very nice architecture to them. Let me just zoom in. Although, it doesn't look nearly as good well animated from up close actually this whole game has kind of pretty nice graphics for its time I mean I think my recording software I might be butchering them a Many little thanks, bit but priestess. now we can evacuate the village please accept the aid of our champion he will protect your life with his own your offer is a generous one may a loon light your path to safety May she indeed. Now give me my reward. There we go. Ashrathoraman. Now, Furbogs aren't actually like a part of the Night Elf army, so what, like later missions we won't be able to just build Furbogs. So it's kinda eh, whatever, but you know. It's a nice gesture. I mean, I would have preferred, like, an item or something, you know, some kind of re item reward that I could, uh, take with me onto the next mission. But, um, you know, you gotta, can't get what you want all the time, so. As the goddess wills. So, ah, uh, well. On your mark. And I, and I, I doubt there would be any, let me check. I'll give it a shot. I doubt there would be any treasure in the houses because, you know, we're supposed to be all like nature loving and protecty, protecty, and that kind of thing. But, you know, they're not using these houses anymore. No, nothing. Oh, wait, there's one more. I'll just check this one village. I won't go destroying every single building on the map. No. Our warriors have engaged the enemy. Oh, what? Oh. I told you.
totally missed that. Stupidity. Someone threatens the wilds. Oh uh, no, YouTube has seen me being stupid again. Um, I'm gonna go. Cr we'll create another ancient just to double up the production of night elf archers. Right, okay, we'll just totally walk past those, um, orcs there. And... Our warriors have engaged the enemy. Oh, they have? Really? Uh, okay, here we go, everybody. A new door up! So be it. I would like it very much if I could just just build build a, build up my forces and prepare a little attack, but your building. I mean, technically, this is even necessary. You could probably just sort of I stand ready. Take out the uh, humans at whatever given opportunity you have. I just want to have this really cool, you know, attack from both sides kind of thing going on. Of course, now I gotta wait for this guy to heal. Any minute now. Any minute now. And there we go, he's healed. Someone threatens the wild. So I'm just gonna set them up at the north here. These guys are set up at the south. Wait, I don't want to attack yet. Almost. Almost. And attack. Asha Thoram, your building is complete. Our warriors have engaged. Here we are. I'll just put these guys north a little bit more just to reunite with Tyrande's uh, true shot aura there. Here we go. Should be able to handle this battle heartily. We are losing some dudes, but that's okay. I want, I'm just. I hope we don't miss any treasure. Okay, actually, I'm gonna back them all up. Oh, nah, that was stupid of me. I should have. Okay, what am I doing? Here we go. You guys just go and attack. Taronde, I'm gonna have her check that crate. Don't kill him. Someone threatens the wilds. My desire for treasure is messing around with me again. Our warriors have engaged the enemy. As the goddess oh, there. Alright, I did find treasure. Yay! I stand ready. And... Is there anything in this tent? No. Alright. Well, I lost a ton of units. Just... Not like, well... Eh. Immediately. I lost a ton of units with my silly little As the desire for treasure. But, uh, you know what? This will be over soon. As soon as that um, divine shield runs out, there, he's down. Because all you have to do is slay the paladin. And there we go, paladin slayed. And that's the mission. It took me 20 Blumen minutes to complete it. 24. <laughs> oh, look! Demons! It's the undead! Defend yourselves! Followed us from 
winds and waves. Quickly, my sisters, back to the trees. We are no match for our folks this fast. Well, I don't know about you, Night Elves, but I prefer the other outsiders as opposed to these ones. And here we are, welcome to our new end of campaign, end of campaign mission thing screen majigger. And yeah, we rocked it. Took me a while though, but anyway, this has been Let's Play Warcraft 3 Reign of Chaos with me, or Let's Player for today, Wolfganger. And I hope you enjoyed this episode. Um, and one, two, bye.